My name is David Robin. I'm the project director for the Advanced Light Source Upgrade Project. The Advanced Light Source, which has been in operation for 29 years, currently serves about 2,000 users per year, produces publications on the order of 1,000. The Advanced Light Source uh, has been an extremely successful tool for studying materials and chemical properties. And with the upgrade, we have an opportunity to give it another three decades or so more life and be able to study materials that are not possible today. So we are going to be doing the upgrade in stages. We are starting now with adding a second accelerator. This is the first components you see on the wall here. Uh, they are, have begun to go in over this last couple uh, shutdowns. And in about three and a half years, we will shut down the facility for about a year to replace the existing uh, accelerator with a much more powerful and higher brightness facility that will produce this much more exquisite light than we have with the current ALS. Hi, my name is Daniela Leitner. I'm the systems lead for the removal and installation team. We are here on the roof of the ALS storage ring tunnel, and my team has been working hard in preparation of the installation of the new accelerator. In the last two shutdowns, the ALSU technical team has been busy preparing the inner wall of the ALS storage ring for the installation of the new accumulator ring. The accumulator ring will serve as an injector into the new ALSU storage ring to help squeeze the electron beam into the tight spot required by the science goals for the new facility. The goals of this shutdown was to complete the preparation in the tunnel to receive accelerator components within the next two years. During the shutdown, we completed the installation of all support developments from sector 1 through 11, leaving 12 for the next shutdowns, well ahead of, sch of schedule and BO DOE basing milestones. We also started the transformation of the injector system in sector 12 that will allow the accumulator ring to be commissioned while the ELS is still operating. The accumulator ring will cross over the existing BTS line to continue on the inner wall when we will complete installation in sector 12. In parallel, we work closely with the ELS to upgrade infrastructure necessary for the next 30 years. In the last year, ELS operation has implemented a new HVAC system that was designed and installed that is compatible with the new accelerator installation and will provide the excellent temperature stability needed to achieve the ALSU performance goal. We have also started to add the wireways to the sectors that it will eventually deliver the power and controls cables to the accelerator structure. Hi, my name is Rachel Stitt. I'm a manufacturing engineer on the ALSU project responsible for installing these ladder trays. In Sector 9, where we're standing, we've prototyped the installation to make sure that all of these pieces fit together correctly and that we have room to pull cables in between those tightly spaced trays in a future shutdown. We've also tapped into the ALS water system and installed these headers down here on the wall. That will allow us in future shutdowns to install cooling loops to the new accumulator ring and storage ring. Hi, I'm Kyle McCombs. I work for the engineering division as a mechanical technician supervisor, and my team is supporting the ALSU upgrade project. So this winter shutdown, we continue the installation of the accumulator ring support stands. We started this work last summer shutdown, learned a lot of good, valuable lessons that rolled right into this winter shutdown. Before we can install the actual AR supports themselves, it all starts with uh, installing the adapter plates uh, or the seismic plates. To install these seismic plates, we need the help of the servant alignment team. Without their help, this would not be possible. Since these plates were installed and aligned so perfectly, we decided to use them as actual drill fixtures to make sure that our concrete penetrations went exactly where they needed to go. In total, we had roughly 170 seismic plates in all. Over 1,000 seismic anchors were drilled into the concrete and installed. Over 2,000 assembly bolts and hardware were used to assemble the accumulator ring stands together. We worked closely with the environmental health and safety team, the ergonomics team, to come up with the best way to do this work safely with regards to the equipment we use. We had a really good checklist that made sure that we did everything correctly, that we didn't skip any steps, that everybody who needed to uh, have a signature or have a say in the installation process 
had their signature on this checklist to streamline the shutdown schedule. We wanted to come up with a way to bring these larger stand weldments uh, without having to remove a lot of roof blocks. We came up with a way to remove one roof block and bring all of sector 10 and 11 large weldments in through one roof block. My team did an amazing job coming up with the right equipment, the right processes, um, working with our EHS representative, working with the ergonomics team again to come up with a safe and effective way to get these large weldments installed in a really tight space. Not only did we meet our schedule, but actually finished early.